The Headless Horseman of Sleepy Hollow. Soft spoken children's story with fireplace crackling. I hope you enjoy. The Headless Horseman of Sleepy Hollow. Some time ago, in the little village of Sleepy Hollow, on the shore of the Hudson River, there lived a man named Ichabod Crane. He was a long, thin, not very handsome, always very hungry man, who taught in the little one-room school in the village. Ichabod had a very, very little money and had and no home of his own. So he stayed for a week at a time at the homes of each of his pupils. In return for doing some chores and being generally helpful around the house, Ichabod would be given his bed and board, which was really a great deal, as he dearly loved to eat. of Ichabod's life that he liked best was visiting the families of Sleepy Hollow. As the schoolmaster, he was always welcomed with the greatest respect and some tasty little snack. He would sit for hours telling the scary stories that he loved so much. The place Ichabod visited most often was the home of Katrina Van Tassel, a very rich and very beautiful young girl whose mother was a very good cook. Seated comfortably in the Van Tassel's cozy kitchen, Ichabod would eat and talk and eat some more. Katrina loved to listen to his stories, and so it isn't very surprising that Ichabod visited the Van Tassel home more than any other house in Sleepy Hollow. And the more that he visited, the more he yearned to marry the lovely Katrina. Ichabod Crane had a rival for Katrina's attention in the person of a very handsome, very strong, very wild young man named Brom Bones. Brom had a horse called Daredevil, and he and his horse would ride through the countryside as fast as they could. They would jump the highest fences and leap over the wildest streams and go down the deep, steepest hills, and every ride that Brom took would somehow lead him to Katrina Van Tassel's house. Brom was in love with Katrina, but he never seemed able to tell her, for Ichabod Crane was almost always at her house, eating and telling stories. One autumn evening, the Van Tassels invited everyone in Sleepy Hollow to a party. Wanting to make the best possible appearance, Ichabod borrowed a horse for the occasion. And it was a skinny, sway-back, tired old horse, but Ichabod felt it was better to arrive on old gunpowder than to go to such a fancy party on foot. The party was a glorious affair. Katrina looked beautiful, the food was plentiful and delicious, and there were several men there who shared Ichabod's passion for ghost stories. Katrina's father told one of Ichabod's favorites a story about the headless horseman of Sleepy Hollow. A soldier who had fought for the British during the revolution and whose head had been shot off 
by a cannonball. Local legend had it that on certain nights, the headless horseman could be seen riding right through Sleepy Hollow, looking for his head, hoping to scare Ichabod and make him stay home nights and away from Katrina's house, Brom added a chapter of his own to Mr. Van Tassel's story. One night, said Brom, he was riding Daredevil down the road, not very far from the Van Tassel home, and there, just by the huge oak tree near the bridge, he met the headless horseman. Brom, being Brom and very fearless, challenged the ghostly rider to a race. They both galloped off into the black night. Brom's horse was neck and neck with the horseman's mount and said Brom he would have beaten him if the headless horseman hadn't suddenly turned leaped over a fence and disappeared into the graveyard. Brom told Ichabod that brave as he was, he was still very scared every time he rode past that bridge on dark nights. Ichabod wasn't impressed. He wanted to know why was it that of all the people who lived in Sleepy Hollow, Brom Bones was the only one who had ever seen the Headless Horseman. Brom was very annoyed. He sat and stared thoughtfully at Ichabod Crane while Ichabod talked and ate and smiled at Katrina Van Tassel. Suddenly, Brom yawned and said something about it getting very late. So he put on his cloak and his hat and he said goodnight to everyone. And he left. From inside the house, they could hear his horse trotting towards the gate. Then they heard Daredevil break into a gallop. And finally, the sounds disappeared into the night. Ichabod ate a few more cookies and told a few more stories. And then saying that he had to be up early in the morning for school, he prepared to leave. At the door, he lingered for a private talk with Katrina. A talk during which Ichabod was seen to be very serious and Katrina very flustered. No one knew what they said to each other, but... Ichabod left the house in a hurry, looking very upset. It was dark. Clouds floated across the crescent moon, blacking out the shadows of the leafless trees on the cold, hard ground. Ichabod rode gunpowder very slowly. He was thinking about Katrina, and he wasn't paying attention to anything else. Suddenly... In the distance, he heard the sound of galloping horse. Turning, Ichabod saw the figure of a man on a horse. A man dressed in a long, flowing cloak. As the horse and the rider galloped from the moonlight to the shadows, Ichabod could see that the rider had no head. Ichabod couldn't move. He was frightened, and he was alone. And no matter how fast his poor old horse could run, he knew the headless horseman would catch him. He tried to yell for help, 
But for the first time in his life, Ichabod Crane couldn't speak a word. The headless horseman rushed, rushed down at him, and just at the last second, just as his horse was about to hit Ichabod, he turned, and as he turned, the headless rider threw something big and round at Ichabod Crane. Poor, terrified Ichabod. In that awful moment, he was certain that the flying object was the headless horseman's head. He was so frightened that he couldn't even duck at the round thing hit him squarely on the head. Ichabod fell to the ground unconscious as gunpowder galloped after the headless rider and disappeared into the night. The next day, Ichabod Crane didn't appear at the schoolhouse. And in the afternoon, he didn't appear at any of his favorite houses in the neighborhood. When the people of Sleepy Hollow searched for him, all they found was old gunpowder grazing in a nearby field. And by the side of the road, Near the bridge, beside the tracks of several horses, they found a smashed pumpkin. Ichabod Crane was never seen in Sleepy Hollow again. And in the years that followed, whenever someone told the story of his disappearance and the mysterious pumpkin by the road, Brom Bones would look at his wife, Katrina, and smile, a great big smile.